Hello friends, today in this video I am going to give you an instant solution to download and install MTK drivers or VCAM drivers which is very essential for the installation of stock ROMs. So what you will need is to follow me. And listen, if you have Windows XP or 7, you can go in the description and download it. It is very easy to install. I am going to show you. See, if you are having XP 7, just what you do is here, then click on install driver, then it will install automatically. If not, then you can also follow Windows 10 method. Okay. So, if you are having Windows 10, you can download drivers auto installer which is given in description and then come with me okay it is there all files you can download it then what you will need is search here for device manager if you are having older version then control plus ah uh -huh. device manager okay then click on this one Okay, and give it a permission. Okay, only one time it is required. Yeah, then you have to locate this one. Okay, so click on any one of these first. In I'm just in desktop only. Add legacy hardware next. Then click install the hardware that I manually select from a list. So all devices. Click on have this. Then browse for the folder which is a C in downloads we are having and then compressed then drivers auto installer then what you will need here is smartphone drivers x64 or if you are having 86 then go on there I am having x64 then why you have to select NFS because it is digitally signature already means if you are having Windows 10 also then it can support you because if you are installing other or means from other places it will give you an unsigned so for that you have to disable the driver signature then you can install it but in this trick you have to not do anything just you can click this one then any one of these you can click click open and okay then it is written here mtk usb port then what you need is you need to install mtk usb port and preloader usb com port okay so first of all install first one install okay drive install and listen don't worry if it is saying this error type because it will not going to do anything okay because in this process what you will need is just its installation not its working or what so more add more one because you have left preloader okay so click on it again okay then this time preloader we want so we are installing preloader 2 okay this is what you all need to do then you can go on the process to install your stock rom and if you haven't seen my stock rom video i have given the link of the video in the description you can watch from there a very simple method of changing a stock rom very very easily okay thank you friends hope you enjoy this video now don't forget to like and subscribe our channel to know more such awesome tricks. Thanks for watching.